Buddha was in deep meditation early in the morning on the vulture peak in Rajgri. Buddha was now 80 years old and 45 years have passed ever since he attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree. He started his walking meditation at the platform on the top of the hill. By that time, his chief disciple Ananda has arrived to greet Buddha. Buddha asked him, let us leave Vulture Peak and go to Ambalatika. He asked Ananda to assemble all the monks present in the vicinity of Rajgri. The monks assembled on the Vulture Peak to listen to Buddha, unaware that it was going to be the last sermon of Buddha on the hill. After the sermon, Buddha and the congregation of monks left for Ambalatika. He stayed with the group of monks at Nalanda before starting the journey to Pataligrama on the banks of the river Ganges. From here, he would cross the river in the morning. He spent the night at an empty hall in this small hamlet of Pataligrama. Large-scale construction was going on in this sleepy hamlet. Ananda informed him that the construction was being carried out by the two ministers of the kingdom of Magadh named Sunitha and Basakara. King Ajatsatru has commanded to build fortifications on the river bank to protect the kingdom from the possible attacks of the Republic of Vaishali. Buddha told Ananda that Patali Grama was going to become a prosperous city, but it will always remain threatened by flood, fire and descent. After a few decades, Patali Grama indeed became the center of power and economy in India and was known as the city of Patliputra, the new capital of the powerful Magadh Empire.